it's week five of the NFL, and we'll be watching Terry McLaurin. He was a machine for them last week with several touchdowns on top of triple digits receiving. It's the Commanders and the Bengals, and it kicks off next on Madden NFL 24. From the banks of the Ohio River, there's a look at what's now known as Paycor Stadium here in Cincinnati. Today, we've got a Week 5 matchup in store here, as it'll be the Washington Commanders taking on the Cincinnati Bengals. Hi again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gunn. To my left, Charles Davis. And Charles, you focus on this Bengal team entering play. They come in on a pretty good roll here, winners of three straight. And going back through the tape, I thought they looked pretty good last week. It was a solid win, a comprehensive win. But meanwhile, for the visiting commanders, they were losers their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes it actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together your team, the us against the world mentality. Let's see if they can use it and get a victory. Seems like we were just starting training camp, but here we are in October, and off we go on EA Sports. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. So out comes the Washington offense onto the field. They'll be led out by a first-round pick back in 2021 from Ohio State. It's Justin Fields. I loved our discussion this week. You know, we had our weekly phone call to talk about our game coming up. And we had to reflect on the fact that he won the NFC Offensive Player of the Week award last week, yet his team lost. You don't see that very often. No, I know a lot of people dislike that, but when you look at the numbers across the conference from last week, he was clearly the best. So I say the award goes to him, and it did. Yeah, I agree with you totally. He was so good, they just couldn't ignore him. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Meanwhile, Fields throw here, taken in by Gesicki. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And that'll bring us to a third and four. A shotgun snap, Fields. And that is incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Dixon, the punter, is on as he sends it away. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. The Bengals offense here ready to rock and roll. Joe Burrow is the man at quarterback. Hey, we all love a good story, and what we like even more, guys who can fight through adversity. Joe Burrow coming out of high school, goes to Ohio State, doesn't get a chance to start, transfers to LSU, not thought to be a top prospect, ends up the number one pick in the draft and justifies it. Tremendous play, excellent mobility, and leadership off the charts. A throw left side to start to drive is complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. Here's Burrow. That's caught, Andre Yoshivas. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring up second down. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. Net open, that's Jamar Chase complete. And Chase going to pick up a Bengals first down as he's across midfield to the 48. carry for the former Oklahoma Sooner Joe Mixon and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage two yards the loss second and 12 again it's Mixon and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage third down now even tougher third and 13 after that loss of a yard not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by. 
by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. Now Washington going to retake the field for drive number two. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. They'll come up now third and three. Now some movement before the snap. And we'll hear from our referee for the first time this afternoon. That was a third and somewhat manageable now, not so manageable. Exactly, because you had a play call on that you felt like, hey, this could go quick, and it doesn't take much to get it done. Now, you got to start thinking about a little bit of a deeper route type of a call, especially if you want to throw it. The tally there, minus eight yards, leads to fourth down as well. the punter Riley Dixon and no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken they call it 38 yards on the punt no return and the Bengals take over first and ten Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The numbers for Mixon last week, 15 carries, 81 yards. And he's hoping to have the same type of game, but he's going up against the number one defense in the league. And they're very good at fitting the run. So now you've got to think offensive strategy, maybe a little more play action, and try and find some people up and down the field. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. You talk about this Washington defense. And they've shown the ability to play tough against the pass, currently ranked number nine in the NFL. And I'm struggling a little bit trying to really categorize this crew. They're top ten in the league against the pass, but the bottom half of the league in sacking the quarterback. That doesn't make sense. Imagine if this group ever put pressure on the QB, they'd easily move into the top five. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Ball on the 39. Here's second down at seven. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. Throwing middle, and it's complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. Now they go play action now. Burrow. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown, Bengals. Jamal Chase, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Bengals get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Well, these guys have won three straight ball games and another good start to this one out to the 6-0 lead. And I've talked with so many different coaches, as have you along the way, and they always talk about winning streaks and the mood of a team and how much easier it is to actually prepare during that time. Guys are sharp, guys are focused, everyone's feeling good, and we're seeing it early in this one. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. And we've got a pause following the play because it appears a member of the Bengals in some discomfort. Now the medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Not only are they in search of their first score, they're in search of their first first down in this ball game as they come up first and ten. Give them a gain of five on the completion, and that's going to bring up second down. 
Here's Fields. And he's got his man on the out round. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. They'll run for the first time here with Brian Robinson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. You talk about this Bengals defense. Now they were very strong in that victory from a week ago. They held them to just 13 points in the game. And truthfully, you can't expect them to play much better than that. That's excellent defense. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. But backed up here, tough spot, needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Throwing on third down, Fields. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. It'll go as a sack, a loss of three, and in turn, it takes us to a fourth down. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Washington with the football here to begin quarter number two. As they've got it with a fourth down coming up. Riley Dixon now to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Here's Jones. And just a net of 31 here. 40-yard punt, nine on the return. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. There's a look at receiver Jamar Chase as the Bengals get set to go on offense. He's doing what he's capable of, having a solid game. Not, not the most amazing game. He's not over 100 yards, but a good game so far. And you just know that mentally, he feels like he's one catch away from turning it into a great game and starting on that road. And the defenders are well aware of that, too. They've got to figure out a way to not let that escalate. Keep him right in this zone here and call it a day because otherwise he can really decimate them. Better believe they are well aware of his playmaking ability. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Now Burrow. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first and ten, Joe Burrow. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Burrow looking to pass. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 32-yard line. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Second down and a yard. Once again, they run with Mixon. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. of completely overlooking the guy holding the football. It certainly felt like it, didn't it? Because on my checklist, okay, as a defender, <laughs> QB's last. <laughs> running back, full back, heck, jet sweeps nowadays before you even get to thinking about the quarterback might actually keep it. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. And the Washington offense heading out. 
And they're in a bind early here, down 14 nothing. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. On second down, here's the option. Breaks through the contact. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. And a solid job using his legs. 16 yards and a first down on the keeper. To throw his fields. He'll get this to his tight end, Gesicki. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 12 more yards there and another first down. Fields now to throw. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Now a second and 10. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D lineman to make the play. Staying on his feet. But in the end, the pressure too great, and he goes down. Calling a loss of four there on the sack. And speaking of the number four, it brings up fourth down now. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here, as this is toward the sideline. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. Cincinnati's offense coming back here onto the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And he goes down. It's a sack. They get him back at his own three-yard line. He'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. I think most quarterbacks would love to have the goal line actually extend up into the air and turn into a wall. And they can put their back against it and know exactly where they are on the field so they don't end up in the end zone. Didn't do it on that play, but perilously close to the goal line. On third down, Mixon. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. That'll be good for six, but now it's fourth down. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought up a punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys would get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense helped the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be Washington football now with a first and 10. Here's Fields. And that nearly a turnover, but it's incomplete. Oh, fortunate to retain possession there, and it's second down. Back to throw, Fields. The Bengal pressure gets him that time, down he goes. Trey Hendrickson showing off his pass rush repertoire that time. These guys have punted four times already and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now it's Fields. And pressure coming and they got it once again. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack. And it's going to lead him to fourth down. Well, Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. Here's Riley Dixon now, as he's on for the fifth time here today.
On the return is Jones. A 39-yard punt, a return of five. And that will come the offense as they take over. Joe Mixon and the rest of his offense making their way back onto the field. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. From the 37, they work on second and six. Now it's Burrow. And he'll go right back to Chase. That's caught again. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. From midfield now, Burrow. And he will find his man on the outside. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. Well, that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. First down, here's Burrow. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Now the Bengals are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. From the red zone now, here's Burrow first down. Here's a second and five. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Now second and five. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the seven. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. To the air again, Burrow. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here at half number one. Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half and expand that lead. And they have to be happy about that. And we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis on trying to get points on the board in the last two minutes of a half. They'll be real excited to have those up on the board. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. One final possession for the Commanders in this opening half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you, too, in just a bit. But first, let's get everybody caught up with what's going on around the NFL here in Week 5. The Bengals got a strong performance in that first half by Joey B. Their quarterback, Joe Burrow. He had a touchdown both in the air and on the ground to help push his guys into the lead at the break. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. A very one-sided first half, 17-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. 
And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. So here are the Bengals set to take over. They're on a three-game winning streak and right now looking good in this one as well. Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10 at their own 21. He'll hand it off here. This is Mixon. And they'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. I like the call. It looked like the right time to dial up a running back screen. But this one got disrupted right from the start and ends up falling incomplete. On third down, Burrow. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up four. So good work there on the defensive side for the first drive of the second half. Yeah, and until their offense can get into rhythm, their defensive players and staff have got to say to themselves, we've got to make it work. We've got to stand in here and make sure nothing else happens until our guys start moving the ball. And that's a 48-yard punt with a coverage holding him to three on the return. And the Commanders will take over with a first and 10. So first and 10 now from the 30. They begin the drive with Robinson. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. That ground game contained again there, Charles, and that's really a big reason that they're trailing right now. They give a lot of credit to that defensive front. That's exactly what they worked for all week to try and take away the run game, make them one-dimensional in the battle of game plans. Theirs has been superior. That's interference. Defense. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and ten. Fields. And he comes back with one complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. Robinson up the middle. And across midfield he goes and into Bengal territory. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. From the gun, here's Fields. Going to be caught downfield by Dotson. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. A gain of 32 that time. Now look, you're not going to be able to get this all back at once, but that certainly helps. So you're saying three yards in a cloud of dust, not the strategy? I go aerial attack. Yeah, I think that's what has to happen. And if you're going to run it, you need to break off big chunks. We just saw a big play right there. They need plenty of those. A play fake. Now fields to throw. And he's got his tight end. It's Mike Kosicki. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. That one goes for 24 yards. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Field's going to hold on to it. There's the stiff arm. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. A crucial penalty there as the hold backs him up for another second and goal. Again, it'll be Robinson. And he'll get this one down to about the ten-yard line. It's a pickup of three, but still a little work to do on third and goal. Now here's a whistle as flags come in. And we'll check out the call. Ball start. Awesome. 
Oh, jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe trying to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. And oftentimes when you see that, that means the play call was supposed to come in his direction, and he was eager to go catch a pass. Dotson has it. Touchdown, Commanders. A great play there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Commanders get a bit closer. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look reviewed. at this one. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And that'll cut the lead to 17-7. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. Charlie Jones now from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. The Bengals drive about to get going. This now a 10-point game, so things tightening a little bit after that last score. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I'm getting a sense that the momentum of this game is changing since the break. Nice play there, and this D is fired up. Back to Mixon on second down. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. From the gun on third down is Burrow. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be out right at the 35. A Bengal first down on the 16-yard pickup there. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. On second down, here's Mixon. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42 yard line. They'll get 14 on that one. Good for a bangle first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go. In addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. At the commander's 44-yard line. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And he's got his man in stride, complete. They'll give him four yards there. And third and eight now. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Now it's Burrow. He's got his target. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 18. 23 yards on the play. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep with the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Down he goes at the 10 with a solid pickup of eight. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. Over the middle, it's complete. 
And the Bengals are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the rim. Burrow throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. Mixon. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. I thought they were onto something with their play call and kind of went in reverse a little bit, threw it on first down, then ran it on second down. Not successful either way. What play call do they come up with here on this important third down try? So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. They're passing here, Joe Burrow toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. McPherson's kick is good, and that will open the lead up now to 20-7. to seven. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it still ate up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. On first and ten, here's Fields. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Multiple defenders get to him there, and that is the sixth time he's been sacked in this ballgame. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Now Fields. Sets up the screen to Robinson. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. It'll be a pickup of eight on the screen, and it sets up a third down. Here's Fields. And he is caught, and he'll be out of bounds right at the 40. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and can serve as much as possible. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. There he goes, left side. A big-time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. It looked like almost a miscommunication defensively because once he decided to keep it, he had pretty smooth sailing. Yeah, it became a question of, wait a minute, who's got the quarterback? And when you talk about miscommunication, it's supposed to be called assignment football on the defensive side of the ball, but the assignment gets mixed up. That's the end result. From the 31, here's second down and eight. They'll fake the handoff, now Fields. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Logan Wilson, the one who got in there and dropped him to the ground. I remember throughout my career here in defensive coaches, I always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. And they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be solid. And this is caught. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And here's a spot where this offense says, we got to start making something happen. We're down two scores. It's the fourth quarter. We've got to start moving with some urgency. And here's a big play that gives them a ray of hope that they can get back in this one. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Field's going to hold on to it. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Justin Fields 
keeping it himself from a yard out. And the Commanders have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. And it's good. The deficit six, 20 to 14. So that drive in total eight plays. And it was all capped off by the Justin Fields touchdown run. He took it in himself. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Bengal offense now gets set to head back out onto the field. One last touchdown has made this really tight. They're clinging now to this slim lead. What, the, Jesus, second half, they only have a field goal. This offense needs to kick it into gear. And right now, I'm looking directly at the field general, at the quarterback. This to me, he's got to take over right now by word, pumping his team up, and then, of course, by deed with his play. My high school coach used to say that all the time. Laddie, take over by word and deed. And deed means action. Exactly. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. A yard in the wrong direction makes third down tougher. Third down and nine. Burrow looking to pass. That is incomplete. And sensing the momentum may be changing here a little bit, Charles. Yeah, this defense is going to get off the field quickly, and their offense got them a touchdown last time they had the ball, so they should get another shot. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. Taking it about the 36. 42-yard punt, six on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. A good starting spot for Washington as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. Now a handoff to start it out. Robinson. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. From the 47, it's second and five. They'll run again here with Robinson. And a good push there defensively as they stop him at the 48. Gain of just one. Now during that run, an injury here. We've got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Fields now to throw. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. That's one he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. It's rare that a receiver of his caliber would drop one pass, but that's now two times he's had his mitts on one and lost it. Yeah, and I don't think that they're going to lose confidence in him, though, because of the track record. Such a good player, maybe having a bad game, but I think they'll still go to him in a critical spot. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Now Burrow on first down. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Out of the shotgun, they run with Mixon. And not a whole lot there, maybe a yard to the 27. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Burrow. And this is incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Again, it's Burrow on second and ten. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 
Seven catches for him now in this last one. A first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Mixon with a first down carry. And down to the 44, five yards that time. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down, stay in bounds, keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because that's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. They'll stay on the ground, mix them again. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. Now Washington down 20 to 14. A minute 50 to play. They'll need to take this football a full 90 yards here as they've got it first and 10. They start on the ground with Robinson here. Breaks a tackle. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Now Fields. And oh, that one nearly intercepted. That would have sealed it. Instead, it'll be second down. All eyes on Fields. That's into the hands of Gesicki. I like what they did there. Still keeping their tight ends involved. They understand it's not quite Hail Mary time just yet. Here's Fields. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And we get a stoppage because, as you can see, a member of the commander's in some obvious discomfort. Final minute, no timeouts at their disposal. Here's first and ten. Back to throw, Fields. Looking for Dotson, and he's got him. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Back to throw. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. And the crowd a major factor now. Here's third down. And one last throw here for Fields. Slings this deep from McLaurin. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. What a game we were treated to in this one. And then on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting it to midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though. So for Cincinnati, they boost their record up to a strong 4-1. And, and they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for the Commanders, they drop below 500 to 2-3 and three with a loss. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew here at EA Sports, I'm Brandon Gordon saying so long, everybody.